वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स लेट इज स्टार्ट अवर स्टडी ऑफ कैलकुलस सो वॉट इज कैलकुलस कैलकुलस इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स विच डील्स विथ स्टडी ऑफ कंटिन्यूस चेंज कैलकुलस स्टडीज कंटिन्यूस चेंज कैलकुलस इज ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इंटू टू सेपरेट ब्रांचेस वन इज ब्रांच ऑफ डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस नेक्स्ट इज ब्रांच ऑफ इंटीग्रल कैलकुलस so in our course in 11th and 12th we are going to study both differential and integral calculus the topic of calculus starts with the basic understanding of the concept of limit so what is a limit so to understand the concept of limit itself you need to understand the concept of function so what is a function a function is a rule which connects the dependent variable with the independent variable right for example function is of the form y is some function of x for example y is equal to x square is a function so what is the meaning of y is equal to x square that means y is a dependent variable x is an independent variable so as x changes y changes correspondingly by this rule y is equal to x square and corresponding to every function we know that you have a graph which you can draw on the xy plane so if you draw the graph of y is equal to x square we draw the graph of y is equal to x square on an xy plane so we know that it looks like a parabolic curve and as you move on this curve you come across all the points whose y coordinate is the square of x coordinate and as you move on this curve both the x coordinate changes and corresponding with the y coordinate also changes that is for example if x is equal to 1 y is 1 square which is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 right now as you continuously move on this curve the value of x continuously changes from 1 to 2 it doesn't change discretely it goes continuously from 1 and 2 as the x coordinate goes continuously from 1 and 2 1 to 2 the y coordinate continuously goes from 1 to 4 now let us try to understand the concept of limit so first you need to understand some standard notation so in terms of limit we write an expression like this so limit x tends to a f of x so first you need to understand the meaning of this expression so once you understand the meaning of this expression correspondingly you will understand how to find the value of this limit so first here you have some new terms first first is the term limit the second term is what is the meaning of x tends to a this is a symbol of tends to so what is the meaning of x tending to a and what is the meaning of limit x tends to a f of x so let us try to understand each of this separately so when you are asked to find limit x tends to a f of x So what am I actually asking you to find? So let us take a simple example. In the place of f of x, f of x is some function of x, 
and a is some number to which x tends to so for example so if i have to calculate limit x tends to 2 x square so what is it that i am trying to calculate the meaning of this is as x gets closer and closer to 2 tends to means that x is going very 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 close to 2 so as x gets closer and closer to 2 to which value to which value does x square go closer and closer to it means as x goes closer and closer to 2 where does x square go closer and closer so now if you draw the graph of y is equal to x square you can try to understand this using a graph so we know that the graph of y is equal to x square looks something like this so let this be 1 let this be 2 and if you draw the graph of y is equal to x square we know that at x is equal to 2 the value of y will be equal to 4 so this value of 4 is called the functional value of x square at x is equal to 2 so at x is equal to 2 f of x is equal to 4 so when i ask you to find the limit this is not what i am asking this is called the functional value of f of x at x is equal to 2. Now what I am trying to ask is as x goes closer and closer to 2. That is as the points x coordinate goes closer and closer to 2. That is the x coordinate of the point goes closer and closer to 2. What does the y coordinate go closer and closer to 2? As you can very clearly see the answer has to be 4. Because as the point goes closer and closer to this, the y value goes closer to 4. So x can go closer and closer to 2 from the right hand side also. So if I have to go closer to 2 on the number line, I can go from the direction of 1 or I can go from the direction of 3. right? So if I go from the direction of 1, I say that I am going from the left side. If I am going from the direction of 3, I say that I am going from the right side. So as you can see in this graph, whether I go from the right side or the left side, as my x goes closer and closer to 2, the value of y is going closer and closer to 4. So limit x tends to 2 f of x or limit x tends to 2x square will be equal to 4. That means as x goes closer and closer to 2, the square of that number goes closer and closer to 4. That is the meaning of the equation. So what limit x tends to 2, x square is equal to 4 says is, as x tends to 2, x square tends to 4. So if I say that limit is equal to 4, it doesn't mean that at x is equal to 2, x is equal to 4. What it means is, as x tends to 2, x square tends to 4. So this looks quite simple. So as you can see, at exactly x is equal to 2, the functional value is 4, the limit value is also equal to 4. So this does not always happen. So limit, the value of limit of a function, at x is equal to a can sometimes be equal to the functional value and sometimes need not be equal to the functional value also. So let us take some other function and see the difference between the functional value and the value of limit. Now let us take another example. So now let us take a piecewise defined function fx is equal to x square if x is less than or equal to 1 is as long as x is less than or equal to 1, the functional value is x square. As x is greater than 1, if x is greater than 1, 
then the functional value is x plus 1. So if I try to draw the graph of this function, so just till x is less than or equal to 1, the graph is the graph of y is equal to x square. The previous graph which we have drawn, the parabolic graph, this is valid only till x is less than or equal to 1. That is that x is equal to 1 also, this is valid. So I represent it using a solid dot. And just as x crosses 1, this function x square doesn't work. So as x is greater than 1, the graph corresponds to the graph of y is equal to x plus 1. So as you can see, as x tends to 1, x plus 1 tends to 2. So this graph is a straight line graph. But as you can see, as x goes closer and closer to 1, it starts with the value 2. It starts with the y value of 2. So here, we represent it with a hollow dot. It's because this graph is not valid at x is equal to 1. This graph is valid at x is greater than 1. Now, if I ask you what is limit x tends to 1 f of x. That means the question that I am asking is as x gets closer and closer to 1, where does f of x tend to? I am not asking what is happening to f of x at x exactly equal to 1. What we are trying to see is as x gets closer and closer to 1, what happens to f of x? Where does f of x go? So now as you can see, I can approach 1 from the left hand side or from the right hand side. So let us say that I am approaching 1 from the left hand side. So we call the limit as the left hand limit. So as x goes closer and closer to 1 from the left hand side, we call it the left hand limit. Whatever limit I get is called the left hand limit. And the values closer to 1 on the left hand side is called the left neighborhood of 1. Left neighborhood of 1. That is the values closer to 1 on the left hand side. So as you can see, as you move on this curve, your x coordinate is getting closer and closer to 1. So as you can see, as your x coordinate get closer and closer to 1, where does your y coordinate go closer and closer to? As x goes closer and closer to 1, the values of y goes, as you can see, closer and closer to 1. So, the left hand limit, limit x tends to 1, f of x. For this, the left hand limit is equal to 1. So, how do you represent the left hand limit? So, I represent the left hand limit like this. Limit x tends to 1 minus. 1 minus means we are approaching 1 from the left hand side. That is from the towards the numbers which are less than 1. That is 1 minus something. I am going towards 1 from the numbers which are less than 1. So, limit x tends to 1 minus f of x is equal to 1. Now, what is the right hand limit? The right hand limit. Right hand limit is what happens to f of x as x gets closer and closer to 1 from the right hand side. So as you can see as x goes closer and closer to 1 from the right hand side, this is the function which is working. So now as you come closer and closer to 1, the value of y is going down still closer, still gets down, still closer and closer, as you can see it goes closer and closer to 2. So what is the right hand limit of f of x? I represent it as limit x tends to 1 plus f of x. So the right hand limit in this case is equal to 2. That is as x goes closer and closer to 1, from the left hand side, the value of f of x tends to 1. But if it approaches 1 from the right hand side, the value of f of x approaches 2. So in this case, the left hand limit is not same as the right hand limit. So in that case, we say that 
लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू वन एफ ऑफ एक्स डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट सो इफ लिमिट हैज टू एग्जिस्ट देन बोथ द राइट हैंड लिमिट एंड द लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट हैज टू बी एग्जैक्टली सेम सो दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल वेयर लिमिट डज नॉट एग्जिस्ट बट फंक्शनल वैल्यू एट x is equal to one exists. What is f of one? The functional value of f of x at x is equal to one is one square, which is equal to one. But the right hand limit and the left hand limit is not same. Hence, limit does not exist.